Here's our tale of the tape. Brought to you by Just for Men, One Day Beard and Brow Color. Robert Wilkinson, as I mentioned before, 31 years of age. Thiago Santos is 39. Wilkinson is an inch taller at six foot three. Thiago Santos weighed in one pound heavier. Reach advantage on the arms and legs, favoring Robert Wilkinson. Justin Roberts, to you. This is your co-main event tonight, set for three five-minute rounds in the PFL Light Heavyweight Division. Standing in the blue corner, weighing in at 206 pounds, with a record of 22 wins and 11 losses. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Tiago Mahita Santos. And his opponent standing in the red corner, weighing in at 205 pounds, with a record of 17 wins and two losses. Fighting out of Hobart, Tasmania, Australia, he is the 2022 PFL Light Heavyweight World Champion, Razor Robert Wilkinson. Your referee, Mark Smith. Mark Smith to oversee the action. That is the 2022 champ, Rob Wilkinson, making his Thiago, PFL ready? debut. Robert, right hand by Tiago. Thiago Santos, touch of the gloves. We are underway. Is it me or did Santos just grow overnight? He looks much bigger, guys, than he did at the weigh-in. Yeah. That's how it works when you're cutting 25 pounds to make 205. Yeah. Probably walking around about 218 right now. Wilkinson trying to pressure, trying to land some strikes from the outside, looking for some kind of extension from Santos, perhaps for a, a leg entry or a clinch. And you can already see the respect for Mahetta's power from Rob Wilkinson. There were situations last year where oh. he was willing to wade in. That's exactly why he doesn't want to. Yeah, that, that jab actually kind of knocked Santos back there. Oh, nasty kick to the body there from Santos. Oh, nice left hand from Rob Wilkinson to start that combination. Nice. Wilkinson's very, very smart. He hunted him down, got him close to the cage, used that Limited those angles of escape and used that to enter. Yeah, beautiful setup there, Randy, for sure. Now Wilkinson trying to keep Thiago Santos down. Plenty of time here in the first round. Three and a half minutes remain. Let's bring in our betting expert, Ian Parker, for a quick reminder on how we wagered this fight. Uh, we took Razor Rob Wilkinson. Look, he landed those first two left hooks that stunned Tiago, and then he took him to the ground. He is fighting extremely smart. May get a sub here, I don't know, but this is the exact game he's got to do to take away the power of Santos. Thank you, Ian Parker. Randy, this is already, uh, I guess, an accomplishment of a goal that Rob Wilkinson stated. He wanted to mix it up. He wanted to use his grappling again, and that was a, a textbook example of how you should do it against a power puncher like Santos. He wanted to, before he ever knew he was facing Santos, he wanted to show these skills, and Santos is that type of guy that's going to force you to use those skills. So both things working in Rob's favor right now. Josh Severa. His father Conan's in the corner of Thiago Santos right now. Josh watching intently. He has secured his place so far in the light heavyweight standings with a six point finish. Nice sweep. Sweep attempt. Oh, Double oh, hooks. Oh, yep. Both hooks are in. This could be good. This could be the. And for Santos here, he's got to get onto one side of his body. See if he can get that shoulder to the mat, turn face. 
Santos with some good hand control. Gonna do his best to hand fight here and protect his neck. We talked about the size of Thiago Santos. I have not trained with him, I've not grappled with him, but I did have the pleasure of spending a day with Rob Wilkinson in the gym, and I assure you he does not lack for strength in positions like this. <laughs> I was gonna say, was it really your pleasure to do that? <laughs> it didn't look very pleasurable yeah. when I saw no. the video. No, not at oh, all. Arm triangle. There's an arm triangle attempt. Full mount. Instead, Wilkinson uses it to step into the mount. A full minute remains. We'll see if Razor Rob Wilkinson can posture up and create any offense here. Yeah, nice control. He's just trying to zap Santos of his energy. He's going chest to chest here, pinning Santos. Might be trying to set up an arm bar or a choke here. Nice job by Santos to get to half guard. A little bit better here for him. Good shoulder pressure from Wilkinson on top. Chago Santos, a veteran of the game, fought some of the very best 205 pounders in the world, and that's exactly why Rob Wilkinson wanted this fight. He wanted to test himself against truly elite competition. So far, he appears to be passing that test with flying colors. It's been all Wilkinson in round one. And I love how he stays busy. He's not just looking to kind of control and squeeze. He's getting the control and he's staying busy with his ground and pound, always moving, trying to advance or utilize ground and pound. Final few seconds of this first round. We will see a second frame when we return on ESPN. Sean O'Connell, Kenny Florian, Randy Couture beside the PFL Smart Cage. Rob Wilkinson in the yellow trunks, Thiago Santos in the gray. Light heavyweight, regular season action. A co-main event tonight. Still five points on the line between these two behemoths. Round one was all Rob Wilkinson. We'll see if Thiago Santos can make something happen here in the second frame. Yeah, I'm curious to see if Santos is gonna let his ha hands go. Seems like he is doing that now. Sometimes the threat of the takedown will get a striker, even one as potent as Santos. It kind of frees him up a little bit, but right now I'm seeing good signs from Santos. He's been staying aggressive. A kick to the body may have been partially blocked by Wilkinson, but even partial oh, impact. That left hand again, guys. Beautiful hooks that's rocking Santos. He's not seeing that hook. There's the roundhouse Kenny was asking for in his keys to victory. Santos comes, excuse me, Wilkinson comes in behind the punch. This time Santos is able to shrug off the takedown attempt. Oh, nice set down. Beautiful follow through. Kept his feet moving, stayed high, and drove through to finish that takedown. Yeah, he's controlling that right leg so far. Santos able to get it away. Wilkinson trying to transition to the back. Nice position there from Santos. Let's see if he can get back to his feet without exposing that right side. He has the cage there to protect him. He can get it back to his feet. He needs to get up and turn and face Wilkinson. And he's starting to do that. Looking to keep the hands locked. Stays heavy on the back of Thiago Santos. Blanket ride by Wilkinson, trying to make Santos carry his weight, force him to put his hands on the mat to stay up. Good, there's a hook. Hey, no, move on his neck. The left hook is now in for Rob Wilkinson. Allowing him to limit the movement of Thiago Santos. Santos gives up the back again. Yeah, and it's just those little shots of staying busy with the ground and pound that can pose a problem. Look at this, Santos, excellent reversal. Wilkinson got a little trapped up under uh, Santos' body, couldn't get up fast enough to keep top position. Nice job by Wilkinson to get that underhook, change places, and circle Santos to the cage. Ooh, big knee. Great work by Wilkinson. Changed his level on that knee. Got down onto the legs of Thiago Santos, not letting him put his feet back on the mat. Nice job by Santos to post that right hand and stay strong in that position to build up his base. 
Wilkinson starting to get a little bit more control now. Santos starting to escape his, his hips, though. by Wilkinson, speeding up that leg of Santos. Rob Wilkinson is on that far side of the smart cage, right in front of his own corner. Mark Montoya, Justin Jacoby, offering advice through the barrier. Well, that was a big knee by Santos. He almost picked Wilk Wilkinson up yeah. off the mat. The power's insane. And it, one strike landed can change the complexion of a fight at 205 pounds quite easily, especially with the power both of these men possess. Once again, Wilkinson doesn't want any part of taking that risk. Goes chest to chest here. So Santos is doing a good job of getting that Underhook, he's just not moving Wilkinson left or right to get off the cage. He's being a little bit too tentative here. He's got the space, you can see the space over here. He can turn him this way for some reason, not taking it. Santos has got his hips turned away. It's hard to engage your power with your hips angled away from your opponent. Less than 20 seconds here in the second round of a possible three, Wilkinson staying heavy on the pressure here. As the final few seconds tick away, another good round for Rob Wilkinson, round three next. Light heavyweight action inside the PFL Smart Cage, Sean O'Connell, Randy Couture, and Kenny Florian here. Rob Wilkinson and Thiago Santos. Third and final round. Our AI score gave round two to Rob Wilkinson. 51 to 14. Still a bonus point up for grabs. Remember, the light heavyweights, high finish rate in this weight class. Already Martin Hamlet and Josh Silvera have six points. A, top, a place atop the standings after one regular season bout. Either of these men can snag second place with a finish. Oh, nice Big kick to the body. body. There was that wow. left roundhouse kick. <laughs> One minute gone in the third round. Rob Wilkinson trying to grab this single. Mejeta hammers away with that right hand. Even those short punches, you can see, yeah. hear the power on him. Yeah, no question about it. Forcing a reaction from Rob Wilkinson, right? I mean, he, he couldn't just stay and continue to fight to get control of that leg. Now, that, that power of Santos is a, can be a fight changer, even with those little rabbit punches. Wilkinson has been in control this whole fight, but again, Santos is always dangerous. Watch for that left kick of Thiago Santos. He's found success with it a couple of times. Wheel kick misses. Oh, it's again, and a left hand landed behind it. That is just nasty. And, and look for it to go upstairs as well, Sean. Blood on the right eye of Santos. He went upstairs that time, Kenny. You've been asking for it here in the third round. We've seen him attempt it a few times. Thiago Santos knows the situation that right. he is in. But it's good to see this kind of urgency from Santos. We've seen him shut down in previous fights where he just doesn't throw as much. He's throwing, and he's throwing with bad intentions. And he's created a bit of a hesitation for Rob Wilkinson, who last season yep. was able to, to strike at will and to blitz his opponents. And even early in this fight, has been able to rush in behind some takedown attempts. And those short shots that we saw has caused a hematoma over the left eye of Rob, Robert Wilkinson. Another sure. body kick. And Santos put together a combination. 
He's got about two minutes to get about it. <laughs> he knows what Rob Wilkinson is going to try and do now. He's got the read on Wilkinson stepping in. There's the counter punch landing. Oh, nice oh. right hand by Wilkinson. Nice counter knee by Santos. Good catch by Wilkinson using the timing on that to once again take this fight to the ground. Nice get up there by Santos, utilizing that overhook very well. Less than 90 seconds now. You can see the live odds have swung heavily into the favor of Rob Wilkinson. Without separation and space to throw more power shots, I don't see another path to victory for Thiago Santos, and Wilkinson knows it. Separation here at the final minute. Kick misses, you can see there's still a lot of heat on those. Oh man. Wilkinson, this is the most tired I think we've ever seen him. And look at the, the left eyebrow of Rob Wilkinson. Swelling continues to grow. Short time here for Thiago Santos. I like those feints from Wilkinson though. Yeah, those feints keep Santos on his toes. Yep. He tried to time a flying knee and Wilkinson Ooh. read it and stayed out of the way. Santos oh, barely nice missed right with hand. the left hand. That was a very nice hand, right hand by Rob Wilkinson. He followed through right into the legs for the takedown. 15 seconds. Maybe not as thrilling as some of the early knockouts, but a very complete performance here against yep. a dangerous opponent for Rob Wilkinson. And he told us he needed to and wanted to do this. Big punch here at the end. Oh, oh he landed! Final bell! After three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the bout 29-28 for your winner by unanimous decision and earning three points in the PFL light heavyweight division, Razor Robert Wilkinson.